welcome 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 good morning welcome 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 hallelujah welcome 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 i hear the roaring thunder my god thank you jesus since my soul when I am in awesome wonder Jesus consider all the world the hands of man glory to God I see the stars I hear the roaring thunder. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome. Welcome to breakfast with Jesus. Glory to God. My God. Welcome, 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 welcome. I just want to take this moment to welcome you. Hallelujah. We, You see, it is the second day of the second month <laughs> it is the second day of the second month and i just want to welcome you all yesterday was the first day yesterday is gone now we are sure we are in the month we completed the first day now it's the second day moving forward good morning good morning wherever you're connecting from let us be in the mood of worship. Even if you are not saved, the Lord love a worshiper. Him that worship God, he will hear. When you worship God, he will hear you. Some people, I, I don't know, they are baptized. They don't worship God. But the ones that are out there in the world, they are worshipers. This morning I came to tell you, it's time to worship God. I came to tell you, it's time to worship God. In the book of John 9 and 31, it said, Him that is a worshiper, the Lord hear you. Even if you're not saved, when you worship God, He get close to you. You provoke the hand of God with your worship. I came to tell you, Him that is a worshiper, glory to God. It's time for us to worship Him. It's time for us to worship in people of God. You know who you are. You know what you're doing. Jesus. Mighty God. It's time to worship. And since my soul, my Savior. Hallelujah. How great thou art. Thank you, Jesus. How great thou art. How great thou art. How great. My God, how great. Then since my soul, my Savior God to thee. Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. How great. How great is our God. How great is our God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Jesus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Trinidad is in the house. Welcome. Jamaica is in the house. Welcome. Connecticut is in the house. Welcome. New York is in the house. London is in the house. Birmingham, England is in the house. Welcome. 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 My God. Florida is in the house. Jesus. New Jersey in the, is in the house. Pennsylvania is in the house. Hallelujah. Jesus. St. Catherine is in the house. Ochorios is in the house. 
Alabama is in the house. My God. Somebody go ahead and begin to bless God. Somebody go ahead. He's a great and mighty God. He walk upon the sea. My God. He opened the eyes of the blind and the ears of the deaf. He bring the dead back to life. And he said greater things you and I shall do. You and I shall do than he did. Greater is he that is in us than them out there that's fighting you. Mighty God. I came to talk to some people here today. Jesus. I came to talk to some people here today. It's time for us to begin to understand ourselves and know who we are and what God called us to do. Too much immaturity. You, you pray and God didn't move right away and you're mad. No, that's immaturity. Pray over your seed. Pray over your children's life. Pray over your job. Pray over your finances. Pray over your house pray over your ministry whatever god is doing in your life you know about it it's time for you to wake up i came to talk to some people who are sleeping some people who are immature i came to talk to some people here today it's time to wake up my god jesus hallelujah Mm. It's time to wake up. Jesus. Mighty God. It's time to wake up. Too much people around that are immature. No, it's time to wake up. It's time for us to open our eyes and wake up. Jesus. Too much immaturity. Too much immaturity. It's time for us to open our eyes and wake up. This is why we complain so much. This is why, yes, we complain so much because we are immature. It's time to, we need to start, I've been here almost three years now. It's time to start eating meat and stop drinking milk. Too much immaturity. Too much. My God. It's too much. Too much immaturity. We need to open our eyes and wake up. We need to stop praying the same prayers every day. Some of us who are praying for the things God already given it to us. But we are still asking him for it. My God, it's time to wake up. Mighty God, we need to wake up, people of God. We are still sleeping. It's time to get out of our slumber. Somebody open your mouth and let us pray. Oh God, help us out of our slumber. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of us have been baptized for so many years. We don't even remember when we gave our life to the Lord. But we are still drinking milk. Mighty God, it's time for us to wake up. You want to know how you're drinking milk? You want to know if you are drinking milk? The people that you go to for advice. The people that you go to with your business. Unsaved people. People who have dirty hands. You know their hands are dirty. But you're still in them. It means that you are immature. It's spiritual immaturity. When we keep running to the people who are not saved. According to Psalm chapter 1. Said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. It means that when you walk in ungodly counsel. You are not blessed. You are immature. 
That's how you know when you, yeah, baby, go shut up. Somebody open them out and bless God with me. When you keep going to people who are not saved, who are not living their life to please God, it doesn't matter what color and robe they wear. It doesn't matter what kind of degree they have. When you see that their life is not in order, you go to them for advice. It means that you're immature. You're robbing your blessings. The people you are chasing down. The people that you are embracing. Glory be to God. It's immaturity. You're not making anybody mad. You're making God angry at you. I came to talk to some people here today. Somebody take a moment and go ahead and begin to share this broadcast. My God. I don't know who God sent me here to talk to. But, you know, for some reason, and some strange reason, I'm upset. My, not physically, my spirit man is angry. Because there are some people who have been into, they have been into ministry for so long, going to church, listening the word of God. Because that's how we get faith, by hearing. But we are still chasing Thank you, Holy Spirit. People of God, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We have to pray. It's imperative that we pray. The things that we are, the life that we are living tells us where we are going. Somebody said, I know where I am going. I know. I know. Where I am going, I know. Joy bells are ringing. Happy children are singing. Yes, we need to know who we are. Immaturity leads us to sin. A lot of people, they started off strong. And they end up in sin. Because they begin to take advice from the wrong people. Who mislead them. And laugh at them in the end. I came to tell somebody, ain't nobody going to laugh at me. No. No demon in hell can laugh at me. No demon in hell can laugh at me. I came to talk to somebody here today. You cannot afford to let the devil laugh at you any longer. It's time to get mad at the enemy and seriously pray. We're not going to take any more ungodly advice. No more ungodly advice. He that. Jesus. No more ungodly advice. No. We're not doing it. We are not doing it. So I encourage you to grab your Bible. We are not doing it. We all are. We have one goal. We all want to go to heaven. Even if we are not saved, we still think about heaven and what it's going to be like in heaven. We have to live the life to please God. It's expected of us. And the first book of Psalm, it said, Blessed is the man that walketh not. That means if you don't walk, in the counsel of ungodly men, you will be blessed. But if you walk in the counsel of ungodly men, you're giving up your blessings. It doesn't matter how long you're saved. It doesn't matter how much scripture you read. It doesn't matter how long you own your Bible. Once you begin to take advice from ungodly men, you, 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 you gave away your blessings, your children's blessings, your children's children, because you're not using wisdom. It's spiritual immaturity. We're going to pray, people of God. This thing cannot work. This thing cannot work. We need to use wisdom in our doings. Jesus. 
If you don't understand when you read, pray, God will give you, he will open up the eyes of your understanding according to the word of God. Whatever you get, ask for wisdom, ask for knowledge, but whatever you get, ask for understanding. Wisdom is principle. It's a principle thing. But whatever you pray for, pray for understanding. Because it doesn't matter how much wisdom you have. You don't have the understanding to apply it. You're going to have a problem. There's going to be a problem. There will be a problem. You need to apply understanding to wisdom. Let us pray. Glory to God. It's time for somebody to, you know, yesterday was Revival Monday. But somehow my spirit is angry because some people are running into the wrong zone for advice and they're getting into trouble. And it's a distraction. It's time to live our life to please God. His name is great. His name is Jehovah. His name is Adonai. Adonai, your name is great, hey, Jesus. His name is great. You are great. Yes, you are. Holy One. You walk upon the sea and you raise the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. Today we declare greatness. My God, according to the word of God. He said greater things we shall do. And the reason why we don't do greater things is because we don't believe. We are immature. And we are asking God today to strengthen us against our weaknesses. Some of us are still praying for people who reject God. Hey, hey, hey. Some of us are rolling with people who reject God. It's immaturity. It's a, it means that they are spiritually immature. We can't be rolling with people who reject God. No. 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 I came to talk to somebody here today. So if you have some ungodly people in your house, may God save them. Hallelujah. Listen to me. You cannot continue to take advice from ungodly people. There is no growth in your life not because somebody's baptized meaning that you're saved somebody told me that i'm i'm not gonna come to your platform when you are there i'll come after you leave i'm afraid of you because you speak the truth i can't lie to you i i, I no. i stopped lying and cheating and stealing and misbehaving when i came to christ I committed every sin in the Bible except murder. I don't know if my prayers killed anybody when I was in sin. But when I was in sin, I committed all the sins in the Bible. So I am only God. Somebody say, only God knows my heart. Because I came to him now. I'm done with the world. You know, there's a song that says, goodbye world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. Sin is pleasurable. I'm, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to somebody who is going down the wrong path this morning. Goodbye, world. We stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. We made up our mind to go God's way the rest of our life. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. Goodbye, world. No more advice from ungodly men and women. No. 
it blocks our blessings. Don't be friends with them for advice. And you know within yourself that they are not living their life to please God. It means that you are sacrificing your blessings. There is a blessing for you as a child of God. There is a breakthrough for you as a child of God. I came this morning to talk to some people. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. My God. Oh God this hour. We came Abu Shato in prayer. And we decree and we declare. That our doors will be open. Sinners will repent. Mighty God. Repentance will come to our house today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Repent. Repentance will come. Repentance will come. Repentance will come to our house today. We decree. We declare. And it's done in the name of Jesus. Mighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come before you one more time. And we give a thanks and praise for another day. We are walking on top of our grave. And Lord, we give you thanks to spear us. Mighty God, to walk in the land of the living. Mama, mama, mama. No, a lot of people didn't wake up this morning. So, Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you the highest praise this hour. Mighty God, we give our sacrifice of praise unto you, dear God. And we offer up to you a sacrifice of thanksgiving. We offer it up to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, I present every soul here to you. I present, I commit every soul here in your hands, Lord. Mighty God, those that are on their way, I present them to you. I decree and I declare upon their life deliverance, breakthrough. My God, open doors. I revival in their spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cover this platform right now. In the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover this platform right now in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I decree and I declare it's done. My God. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this. Ah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody go ahead and bless the Lord. David said, I'll bless thee at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. I don't know who the Lord sent me here to talk to. But I came here to tell you, bless the Lord. Bless him at all times. Let his praise continue to be in your mouth. Bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord with me. We cannot afford to give up our blessings to ungodly people. We cannot afford Instagram, good morning, Facebook, good morning. And to all the YouTubers, welcome. Somebody go ahead and click over YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hallelujah. I encourage you, go over there, Rev. Joycelyn Rattigan. Click on the link. Jesus, my God, Mantoroboko Sataya, Jesus, glory to God. Hey, mighty God, Jesus, Madababako mm. Roboko Sato. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this broadcast. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Hmm. Yes, Lord. Hmm. Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty Redeemer, mighty Redeemer, Jesus, hey, we give you glory, Lord, 
as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this broadcast. Glory be to his name. My God, mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Jesus, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. My God, mighty warrior, great, hallelujah. Somebody worship God with me today. Jehovah is your name. I thank God for his goodness and his mercies. I, I thank him for divine peace. I thank him for the joy that he has given unto us. I came to tell somebody here today that the Lord loves you. And when God loves you, he'll be rough on you. When God loves you, he will chase you down. Anywhere you go, he will call you back. He will find you. He will leave the 99 and come after you and bring you back. When God loves you, you are Jesus, baby. I don't know who I'm talking to. But when God loves you, he will always send people to come to you. Jesus. Hallelujah. He is a mighty warrior. He is a mighty warrior. What a mighty God we serve. I don't know who God sent me here to talk to this hour, but I came to tell you, he is, Jesus loves you. He is a mighty warrior. Hallelujah. Mighty warrior. Great in battle. Jehovah is his name. Glory to God. I want to pray for somebody before I get into the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to pray for somebody. Sister Jackie Scott, I place you at the cross right now. I place you before God. My God, David said, search me and judge me according to my righteousness. And these were the words of David. He wanted God to search him. He wanted God to judge him based on his doings, based on his actions, based on his behavior, based on the life that he was living. But I place you before God today, Sister Jackie. My God, I pray for your ministry. I pray for your business. I pray whatever God is doing, it, it will come. It will manifest. Whatever God said about you, it will come to pass. Whatever God said about your children, it will come to pass. I place you and your children before God. I place your marriage before God. I place your husband before God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, my God, I send a fire of God to sweep through your house right Right now and burn out everything that is not of God. Right now I place you and your family before Almighty God. Everything that have been done against you and your family. I destroy it right now. I nullify it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I hear the Lord said a fresh wind will blow and you will begin to see the mighty hand of God, the powerful hand of God, the righteous hand of God to hold you up. Sister Jackie Scott, Jacqueline Scott, I leave you at the cross in the name of Jesus Christ and I call it done. Hallelujah. Jesus, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I came to minister to somebody's spirit. I didn't come to talk to your flesh. When you see me here, I'm not here for flesh. I'm not here for the things of this world. Even if you just slaughter me, I'm not here for your slaughtering. I'm here. For the upliftment of your spirit and your soul. I came to talk to somebody today. 
Even if you just tap me in my back, the Lord send me the prayer. Even if you just curse me out on social media, the Lord sent me here to speak in your life. Because I am of God. I am doing the things of God. I came in the name of Jesus Christ. So even if you just try to chop me up, oh, I'm still here. Because I know who I serve. He's a way maker. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the dark. I came to talk to some people who are spiritually immature. How could you call yourself a child of God and you're still running to people who are not living their life to please God for advice? You can't do that. It means that you are walking in the council of ungodly. That's what it means. And the Bible said, blessed is he who, do, who don't. Blessed is he who walk it not. It means that you don't walk in ungodly counsel. Stop taking counsel from somebody. Open him out and pray. I refuse to take counsel from ungodly men. I refuse to take counsel from ungodly women because some people when they show up here and they hear the word men, they think the word relates only to M-A-N. No, it's a human race. Glory be to God. Somebody sent me a message and tell me that they went to visit somebody else's page. And on that page, somebody else within the ministry text them that they can give them a read up. Be careful where you are going for advice because when you go on a platform you're seeking advice. Be careful where you eat your food. Be careful where you sit and dine. Be careful who feed you. Somebody messaged me last year and sent me a picture of a woman of God and said, woman of God, this lady Send me a message that I should send money to Africa. And the woman is not in Africa. People of God, wake up! The woman lives in Florida. The devil is a liar. Who are you working for? This is the thing that destroys us. We look for formality in everything. The devil wears suit as well. The devil is not chop chop. The devil presents himself well. And when I say himself, I'm relating to both male and female. Because those that are led by the spirit are the sons of God. We are the sons of God. Let us be led by the spirit of God. I'm not here to knock anybody. Text the woman in the middle of the night and said, I look at your profile and you need prayers. Send some money to Africa for my orphanage. You have an orphanage in Africa, but you are, a, you are a Jamaican living in America asking somebody to send money. Fire! He sent fire! You come on my page in the middle of the night checking out. Send fire! People of God, I came to talk about spiritual immaturity. Be careful who you avail yourself to. God is not pleased. God is not pleased. Only God can work for you. 
Believe in the things of God. Stop seeking witchcraft. Anything that is not of God is from the devil. And I remember the Lord told me to tell you. I'm talking to somebody here that is here that know who I'm talking to. The Lord told me to tell you to stay off these people's platform. And you continue. Be careful what you're bringing in your home to your children. The Lord gave me a message on this platform to tell you to stay off of some platforms. And now you're texting me that somebody's texting you. That they can read you up. Because you went on a wrong page. Be careful. Be careful. You know you shouldn't send me that message. You know because the Lord used me to speak to you last year. You're here today sending me a message that so the devil is a liar. You see, I keep it real. And this is why I don't ask anybody for anything. If God tell you to bless the ministry, bless the ministry. But don't come, come at me sideways. Don't do that. I am of God. When I say I am of God, it means that I came in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm here presenting Jesus to you. So the things that I say, it's of God. The things that I do, it's of God. I stand for the word of God. I am standing on the word of God. I warn you here last year on this platform. I'm not calling your name. Because you're already convicted. You are already convicted. I warn you last year. Right here because the spirit of the Lord gave me a message to give you. Be careful on the platform that you are going to. And know you are presenting to me that you went on somebody else's platform. And there is a man on the platform that informed you that he can read you up. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. I don't like to talk. Watch yourself. You know who you are. You are already, the spirit is showing me. You are already convicted. You see, people of God, when I come here, I'm, I just give a 25% of what God say. 25. The other 75, I pray on it. For God to fix your life. But I cannot tell you everything here. There are certain things I cannot even say. Because God didn't permit me to say it. So whatever I say to you, it's a quarter of what the Lord revealed, the revelation. You need to just come and pray and relax yourself. Come pray and believe God for a change. Believe God for open doors. Believe God for your breakthrough and your children's breakthrough. You see, he said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Wake up out of your slumber. Wake up from your sleep. You better be careful. I came this morning to talk about spiritual immaturity. And as soon as I went on the live i saw this message you see people of god if you don't know what to do just lay in your bed and read your bible lay in your bed and read your bible if you don't know what to do if you don't know what to what to say keep your mouth shut ask god for directions before you speak Hallelujah. Ask God for directions before you speak. God is with us. But we have to use wisdom. We have to, listen to me, we have to pray. He said in all that you get, get understanding. It means that there are so much to get. But do you really understand what you get? Because he said in all you're getting, <laughs> 
get understanding. Jesus. It is a script, it's scriptural. In all you get, get understanding. Get wisdom. I'm reading the Bible here. Because I remember the scripture. The Holy Spirit is ministering to me. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the word of my mouth. Forsake her not. And she will preserve thee. Love her and she will keep thee. Wisdom is a principal thing. Hear thee, the word of God. Hear thee, the word of God. Hear this, the word of God. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Might just sound like, oh, oh, oh. But yes, I'm coming to you directly from the word of God. Get understanding whatever you have if you don't apply understanding to it it's not going to work out it take wisdom to build but it take understanding to establish exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her people of God get understanding if you don't understand ask God to give you revelation or send people who can break it down to you you come on the platform the Lord used me to talk to you but because I'm not going to insult you I'm, I'm not here for that use wisdom Use wisdom in whatever you're doing. Some people, the reason why they are broke, it's because they send their money to the wrong place. Listen. It's not only when you go to an obia man and give him your money, it's witchcraft. Witchcraft is sitting down and having desires to know more than what God revealed to you. That's witchcraft. And this is why some people chase certain ministry. Somebody came here and another pastor said, oh, you're running over that woman, that woman of God. I'm going to be specific. They told the lady, you're running over to that woman of God. How dare you? How dare you? Running over to that woman of God to, to look for prophecy. Hey, hey, hear this. The word of God is here. I am for God. I stand for the things of God. Prophe the prophetic is here, but the word is here. Straight. Undiluted. I came to talk to somebody here today. You cannot fight God and win. Tell them they cannot fight God and win. anybody sometimes you find yourself going into some places that you don't understand and you keep going and you can't stop going it's because there is a setup for your pull down you have been set up to go down when Jonah was going down God told him to go to Nineveh and he said I'm not going I mean I'm done with this ministry thing so he had decided in his he purpose in his heart to leave the face of God. How come a prophet can leave the face of God? You know what you are called to do. You know the word of God is in you. You can't leave God. He said, I'm married to you. He said, as for you backsliders, I am already married to you. You cannot escape me. So Jonah decided to leave. And he had to pay. And when he paid, the boat went down. Listen to me, people of God. When we disobey God, we go down. 
We spend money and go down. We, some friends cost us money. Because they put us in predicament. So we go down with them. Bad association spoil good habit. I learned this when I was a child. Before I was even able to read the Bible. My mother used to recite the scripture. Bad association spoil good habit. Show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. You cannot afford to have all your friends that are not saved and you're taking advice from them. Where are you going? We're talking Bible here. We need understanding to apply it to the wisdom and the knowledge. The things we know, it's knowledge. Glory to God. The things that are about to happen is wisdom. Because it makes us wise. So we move in wisdom. Understanding is because you know, you, you know what to do. How to move. How to apply things. How to step. This is why the Bible said the footsteps of a good man are ordered by God. So whatever you need, ask God. He said, any man lack knowledge, ask. You lack whatever you lack, ask God. Ask for it. Don't go seeking from the wrong person. You will get lost and misled. Some people say they're not going back to church because of church hurt. Yes, I know, because you went to the wrong person. That don't mean because somebody step on your toes, you should give up on God. That was not God who sent you to do. Listen to me. God will never send you to a place for them to step on you. No. Use wisdom. Many times we are there and the Spirit said it's time to leave. But we stay because our flesh. We see something that look good. We want a piece of it. And we stayed. Let me hear. For you to wake up out of your slumber. We're talking to immaturity. People who are not. Who are still drinking milk. You cannot be saved. And you're chasing on people who are dishing out milk. Go to somebody who is giving your bones to chew on. So you can grow. Stop going around and collect all this milk. Stop being so fleshy. Come out of it. We need meat. We need to eat meat and stop drinking milk. It's time we grow. According to the book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 2 it said. I read. Hallelujah. They have to obey their guardians until they reach whatever age their father set. Hello. Some people, they came and they get one word and they disappear with it. And they don't know what to do with it because they don't have the understanding. You were not done. You just got up and left. Mighty God. He says, and that's the way it was with, before Christ came. That's the way things were before Christ came. We were like children. We were slaves to the basic spiritual principles of this world. I'm reading the Bible. But when the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us, who we were slaves to the law. So that we could adopt, he could adopt us in his very own, as his very own children. We need to be obedient. Disobedience causes us to stay immature. Yeah. The, our disobedience to God calls. Yes. That's it. I can done I can just go back in my bed now because I bring the word of God. That's it. Somebody say, oh Lord, strengthen me to be obedient. Give me strength to be obedient. Lead me, oh God. Direct me, oh God. 
Jesus. You are the high priest. You came to earth to a woman who has never been with a man. And Lord, that's what makes you perfect. You died for our sins. You never ever, you never sin a day in your life. But you were made to sin because of our sins. You have taken, mighty God, our sins. And you washed us with your blood. Your cleansing blood. Clean us up now, Daddy Jesus. Wake us up out of our slumber. It's not about the prophetic. It's about the life we are living. With, 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 if we're not pure, the prophetic don't make no sense. We need to be pure. We need to be pure, people of God. Welcome to Breakfast with Jesus. If you're just joining, welcome. My God. If you just join, welcome. We're talking about spiritual immaturity. People of God, we need to stop going around and collecting milk from all everywhere we go. We need meat. We need to be able to speak into our circumstances. We need to be able to speak into a situation and things begin to happen. We need to stop going around and drinking milk from everybody. This is why so many of us are sick. We drink too much milk. And when I say milk, I'm not talking about a glass of milk. I'm talking about people bringing the raw word to you, but it's not the truth. It's the raw foolishness. May the Lord open your eyes, your spiritual eyes. May the Lord open your spiritual ears. Mighty God, according to the word of God, the reason why some people cannot see anything because the devil has blinded their minds. Yes. First, Second Corinthians 4, verse 4. It said the devil blinds some people's minds so they can't see anything. Let me read it. Satan, who is the God of this world, have blinded the minds of those who don't believe. Don't let the devil blind you because of unbelief. That's another sign of immaturity. When you're a child of God and you don't believe. A lot of people got baptized because they were forced to baptize because of a situation. And this is why not everybody who is baptized is saved. Because they don't have the word in them. They were forced to dip. But we need the word of God to grow out of immaturity to spiritual maturity. Glory to God. We need the word. We need to grow. We need to grow my brothers and my sisters. It makes sense. When we grow, we know who we are. Some people won't come back to this platform because they think these teachings were not enough. They think they had it all. God is, they're good to go. And they step off. They step off into a pan of fire. Somebody say, you jump out of the frying pan and into the fire. My God. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. In the book of 1 Corinthians 3, it says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, as unto carnal, even as unto babies in Christ. He didn't know how to talk to them because they were still babies in Christ. This is why every day I'm here, I have to allow the Lord to lead me. Because there are people here who are still drinking milk. And if I bring you meat and bones, you're going to choke on it. We need to spend more time with God in the word. Mighty God. Prophecy don't make no sense. 
It makes no sense if somebody prophesied to you if you don't have the word of God. Because there won't be, you won't be able to tell anything. You won't be able to discern. You need to be able to discern if you are working with the right spirit. If this person is, is, is speaking the truth. Who is this woman of God? Where is she from? What is she saying? My God, I need to know more about her. Yes. Test the spirit. If you cannot test the spirit, you're wasting your time. Some people are asking for prayers. And the prayers that they're asking for, it's not going to work. You know you need prayers, but you don't know what you need prayers for. You need to understand who you are. Let us present ourselves before God. On the 15th of this month, we're going to present ourselves before God in fasting and prayers. We're going to present ourselves before God as a living sacrifice on fasting for two weeks. 14 days of prayer and fasting. Powerful prayers and fasting. Some people are going through the things that their parents went through. No, it's a curse. It has to stop with you. The blessing has to begin with you. And the curse stops. You can't send blank shots. We need to stop firing blank shots. We need to stop firing blank shots. We can't call ourselves children of God and not we don't have breakthrough. We don't have testimony. We need testimony to shame the devil. And when the devil come, God is going to pour out more in you to shame him again. We need testimonies. So I decree and I declare upon this ministry that testimonies will come during this fasting. Testimonies. We will have more testimonies. Powerful testimonies. Not from the flesh but from the things that god have done through this fasting in your life you know you need your breakthrough it's time you know you need your break you know what you're doing and you know what to do hey we know my god so in our last pick we went into first corinthians chapter 3 verse 1 we went into Proverbs 4. We went into what? Galatians chapter 4 verse 2. It's time to preach. It's time to study the word. It's time to sing praises to our God. It's time to pray. This is the time we are living in. I can share this with you. There is no other time known to man where more Bibles have been sold throughout the world. My God. If you remember carefully, in November, in the month of November last year, I ordered some t-shirts for this ministry. And the t-shirt was delivered to the wrong door, two minutes from my place, down the street. And that person had that. And I, and <laughs> I know I shared this testimony before. The t-shirts came, but they were delivered to the wrong door. Why? Because one digit, there, my name was on the box, but there was a mistake with one digit on my address. So it was delivered to the wrong person. And that person kept it. The person kept the whole box of t-shirt until I wrote a letter. When I found out where it went. So for three weeks. I'm here to let you know. It was quite a few amount of t-shirts in the box. For your information. It was God. It was God. When I opened the box. 
the t-shirts were turned upside down. Some of them, they, you could see that somebody went through them because everything was folded. At the bottom was neatly folded, but the ones at the top, let me tell you about God. Trust Him. Believe in Him. According to Galatians chapter what 4 verse 2, it said, they have to obey their guardians until they reach whatever age their father set. We need to be obedient people of God. We need to stop running around like we don't understand. Sunday I was in church and the preacher man was saying, <laughs> he ran around in circles for so many years and he ended up right back in Jesus Christ. We need to stop running around in circles. Even some Christians, people who call themselves Christians, are still running around in circles. I have an announcement. Hallelujah. I have an announcement to make. And I'm just going to go according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Happy New Year, my brother Anthony Guppe. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody... I've sown, <laughs> and I think this was last month. I never made this announcement, but I have it written right here. Hallelujah. And I'm going to say it out loud. The woman who has cancer in Jamaica, she has sown a seed in somebody's life. You see, this is faith. The woman the woman with the cancer in Jamaica have sown a seed in somebody's life. And the seed that she have sown, I'm calling it out. It's almost ten dollars. She's living in Jamaica, but she has sown a seed in someone's life. Sister Tamika folks, I'm going to write your name for this seed. For your situation to change. The woman lives in Jamaica. And she has sown a seed. In somebody's life. I've selected your name. For this ten dollar seed. May the Lord change your situation. Tamika folks. May your story turn around. May the next time they mention your name. It's for good. It's for good. Somebody is in Jamaica sowing seed in other people's life. I thank God for her life. You are here in America, but I'm sowing this seed in your life, this tender seed. Tamika, folks, I'm sowing this tender seed in your life. May the Lord change the situation you're in. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody in England have sown some seeds. And the first seed for $10, I wrote down Donovan DePass for his breakthrough for himself and his son. $10. Donovan DePass. Donovan DePass, you're here in Connecticut. I don't know if you're watching, but the Lord drop you in my spirit. Once this seed hit, 
I have, you see, this was last month, but I wrote this thing. You see, people of God, I take information seriously and I write them down. Donovan the past ten dollar seed is sown in your life for your life and your son. Glory to God. And this will go for your breakthrough. There's another ten dollar seed that's here. And I'm sowing it into Malene Steele's life and her family. For the life of Malene Steele and her family. I'm mentioning names. Ten dollar seed. People of God, listen to me. It's time for you. And this seed came from England. Malene Steele, I'm praying for you and your family. For the Lord to turn it around for your good. And there is a seed was sown into Jasmine Mims' life. I don't know if she's here. Jasmine Mims, I don't know if you're here because today I'm just using tunnel vision to preach and to speak. So if Jasmine Mims, you're here, I just want you to know somebody have sown a ten dollar seed in your life no lie it's 27 dollars and 30 cents this seed came from england hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah 27 dollars and 33 cents i think that's 20 pound hallelujah yes i should think yeah something like that 20 pound in her life Yes. Jasmine Mims. Somebody have sown 27 pound and some cents in your life. And this is concerning your ministry. Now, when I saw the text that came with the $27 seed, the Lord began to minister to me that you will give birth to your ministry. You're preaching on Facebook. But this is what God said. I don't know if you're watching. That you will give birth to your ministry when you start being obedient. I'm saying it as the Lord give it to me. I cannot call you and tell you this on the phone because this is not from me. This is straight from the mouthpiece of God. God said once you start to be obedient and use your gift, you will give birth to your ministry. I decree and I declare it done. My hands are clean because I said what the Lord said. I repeat what God placed in my spirit. When I saw the message, the Lord began to say, when she began to become obedient and use her gift, hallelujah, then he, she will give birth to her ministry. My God. You see why I have to be obedient people of God? Somebody send the seed. And this is nothing personal. It got nothing to do with me. But the Lord placed the names who he wants to be blessed. So the names were Tamika folks. You lost your mother. And you're going through some hardship in the United States of America. And this will begin to change your story. Danavan de Paz. Things are about to change for you and your child. Malene Steele. Things are about to change in your home. Jasmine Mims. The Lord wants to bless your ministry. He wants to give birth. But you have to be obedient. And use your gift. You are not using your gift. And this is why you have not given birth yet. But it will be well with you. Once you begin to be obedient. Then God will do the rest. My God. People of God, hear this. It doesn't matter where you live. Whatever God touch your heart to do for this ministry, be obedient. Be obedient and let God use you. Be obedient and allow God to use you. I'm done. Thank you, Jesus.
names. I'm, I have to call the names that God placed in my spirit. Because there are some people, you see them on Facebook, and you hear their names, and you wonder if it's friendship. No, it's their time. Many of you have received your breakthrough. Many of you are sharing your tithes with other people, eating it, using it to buy food, to eat. You cannot eat your tithes. Many of you, God has given you a word to do something and you don't do it. So you're still waiting on your time because of disobedience, because of spiritual immaturity. Spiritual immaturity comes in many ways. When you are spiritually immature, you don't move in faith. You're fleshy daily. You're always fleshy. And God is saying, no is the time to move in obedience. Yes. Yes. We can't be fleshy all the time. And we come and we hear God is mentioning other people's names. Most of the time, it's because of their obedience to God. I don't know what they are doing in their house, but they are living their life to please God. And therefore, the Lord show them to me. So I have to pray for them. It's not favoritism. I don't show favoritism to my family. I don't show favoritism to those who I love. No. Why? Because it's not of God. I hardly talk about my children when I'm praying. Why? When I'm praying for you and your children, God will touch my children. When I'm praying for you and your family, God will touch my family. When I'm praying for your marriage, God will touch mine. I don't live my life on social media. I came to pray for you and your family. You have to be obedient and move in faith and allow, and allow God to do it for you. When God blessed Abraham, he didn't just bless Abraham. He blessed the whole generation. Abraham was so blessed, he pulled his nephew with him. And it caused war. So God don't just bless one person. So you all have to understand when God is moving on this platform, it's not flesh. The other day I was praying for the woman of God and her husband. And the Lord showed me their son particularly. And in the evening, you know, the next day she sent me a message. She said, woman of God, thank you to pray for my son. He is giving me a problem. So I'm here to let you know people of God. God is blessing his people in obedience. When you move in faith and obedience, he will bless you too. Somebody say you're telling the truth. It's true. I don't lament on my, my life that I live. It's not about me. It's what God is doing through me. If it was for me, I would be fighting the snow to go to somebody's office or my own office that I opened down the street to let them make money. If it was for my flesh, I would be at work. Because I love money. But God humble me. God humble me. If it was for flesh, I'm humbled. I went to school. I have skills. But it's not about the money. It's about you and your salvation. It's about the life you live. He's using me to coach you. So when it's time to go to heaven, you won't have to say, I didn't know. If you choose to go to hell, it's because that's your choice. But you are getting the raw word right here, the truth. To fix your situation. So you could put your house in order. Excuse me. The Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. 
And this is why he sent me. I cannot do everything. I can only bring you the word and you have to use it to apply it to your life. So if you're here and you're not saved, it's time to give your life to the Lord. It's time for you to surrender all to Jesus. I encourage you, if you have been following and you're not saved, stop playing church. It's time to give your life to the Lord. Because if you die tonight, you're not going to heaven. There is no second chance after you die. So make up your mind who you want to follow, which road you want to take. Two roads before you. Pick your choice. Pick your choice. Two roads. Heaven and hell. Pick your choice. My God, this message we have to say daily for somebody to repent, to come to Jesus. Tomorrow is not promise. So I cannot show favoritism with God business. If I was going to show favoritism to God business every month, I would call my family and give them the charity money. And then God would charge me. I have never given any one of my family members a dime out of this ministry. Never. Never. I know some of them are mad. <laughs> but I can't do it. That's not of God. That's not God never said that. God never say that, so I have to be humble and be obedient and allow God to use me. You see, why do you think God give people the unction to text me to say, woman of God, I'm going to sow in the ministry for people. They're not sowing for themselves. They're sowing in other people's lives. Why? It's obedience. We know. We know $10 is not a lot of money. But it's the thought. We know. We know. You and I know. But it's a seed that will germinate and bear fruit and grow. And this is why I say this here today. Whatever the Lord taught your heart to do for this ministry, go ahead and do it. If the Lord told you to be a blessing, the number is 860-634-8557. If you want to order your prayer shawl, that's the same number. If you want to order your anointing oil, it's the same number. If you want to order your holy water, it's the same number. Whatever the Lord said about you, it will come to pass. But you have to be obedient. You have, people of God, you have to be obedient. God is doing a new thing in this time. Hallelujah. And it will come to pass. It will be a fruit. You are blessed. You are blessed and highly favored by God. The woman said, the Lord placed this in her spirit to bless Jasmine Mims' ministry. Jasmine is not taking any money from anybody. She can't. God won't permit that. So let me share this on my platform. She can't take a dime. Until God permit it. I'm saying this. Because God wants you to know. The Lord said until she is obedient. Or she will give birth. Because what God have called her to do, she will do. I rest my case. Amen. Can't take a dime from no one. It doesn't matter which country or the currency. No, she can't. Never. If she ever take a dime from anyone, she's in trouble with God. Until God said, yes, she can't. Let me share something with you. God is serious about us. God is serious about his business. And when Jesus Christ was lost, when Je I'm going to use a word that I... That I 
that I that I, I learned the other day. And when I say I learned, I, I know this word because this is the job that I used to do because I was working in human services and they have a word they call AWOL. When Jesus went AWOL, <laughs> I've never seen this before. Yes, we are, people go AWOL all the time because I used to be a foster parent. So my foster daughter would go AWOL sometime. But when Jesus went AWOL, when he ran away, when they went back and found him sitting, you know, listening, learning the word of God, I laugh. I said, wow, I never thought of that. Jesus went AWOL. Mm -hmm. So when his parents found him, he said to them, I'm about my father's business. I came today to tell you. I am about my father's business. Yes, Jasmine Mims is not a stranger to me. That's my father's sister. They share the same parents, mother and father. Who does that make her my aunt? But I still have to say what the Lord said. And she knows me. I don't play with the truth. And we have a very good relationship. But I still have to be honest and do what God said. Amen. Glory to God. It is well. It is well. The Lord is with us. And we have to be obedient. So whatever he touch your heart to do for this ministry, go ahead and do it. I could only do this when God permit it. And if you have been following me for a long time, there's a woman, I think she's in South Carolina. Her name is Tuesday Tucker. I never forget it. She came on my platform and the Lord spoke to her that the people should start blessing the ministry. And the reason why is because I didn't ask. It's not because I didn't ask. No. I was, I was never going to ask. God had to speak to someone else. And that was it. And I, I tried to call her and she refused to answer me. She sent me a message that this is what God said. And she posted on my platform. I didn't know how to say it. But today I can say this. Whatever the Lord tell you to do, do it. Whatever he touch your heart to do, do it. I never asked for a dime. It was last year when this woman of God showed up and said, the Lord said and she posted and I call her. She never answered me and she, we begin to communicate. So I said, okay. And the Lord begin to confirm it. That it's time for the, the people that are following this platform to bless the ministry. Amen. That's why I can't beg. I don't know how to. It's whatever God said. So I encourage you, stretch forth your hands to all this ministry financially on the 15th of this month we will bless some people most of it will go to the cancer patient and when i look and and i see the cancer patient send ten dollars to bless somebody to sow a seed i said jesus you're good yeah that's god that is god jesus People of God, my time is up. I have to go. I love you with the love of the Lord. And you know, I beat you because I love you. It is what God said. Don't take, don't, don't, don't shoot the messenger. Deal with it. Take it up with God. If the message squeeze you, take it up with God. I do what he said. Amen. He gave me the scriptures. So I bring it forth. We cannot be spiritually immature. You are the pillar that hold our hand. Amen. <laughs> it is the truth. It is the truth. We have to be obedient. And allow God to move in our lives. So once again, have a wonderful day, people of God. And remember, Jesus loves you. Have a blessed day. <laughs>